Hey Floss Tube, it's Brandy with Be Stitch Me. This is a cross chain channel. Um, also show haul and fabrics, of course fabrics. Um, thank you to my daughter who gave me the insight that my my YouTube video sucked. <laughs> when I came home after my last video, she, I walked in the kitchen and she goes, <clears throat> we need to talk. And I was like, okay. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I didn't give an introduction or I don't know the floss tube slash YouTube rules of how to have a good video, but there you go. I'm Brandy. <laughs> so, get started. Well, hold on, I typed out some notes because apparently my last video was not organized. <laughs> I'm taking advice from a 15 year old too, which is totally cool because she's a, she's a pro. She does drawing videos. Uh, she doesn't, well, I think she has voiceovers, but just for drawing anyway shout out so um i am just i don't know the right word i am so thankful and so over the top happy that um people are appreciating my fabrics I, it's just a fantastic thing i'm just very grateful right now so um thank you to stitching with the sisterlies um who else was it um sunshine stitchers um, Aaron the Blind Stitcher, um, Sombre, Moonshine Crafter, and I ran across another floss tuber today, yesterday, who just recommended my floss tube, so that was awesome. Um, and it was not a sample stitcher. I only watched one video, but um, I'll catch up. I'm still behind on all my YouTube binging, so I have been trying to take my ear headphones things to work so I could just kind of set it aside and watch it and listen and work, but I forgot my headphones the last couple days, so shame on me. Anyway, let's get started. Um, whips. I did not get that much to, to, bleh, stitching time these last two weeks. Um, I was I was sick. Not like super sick sick, but sick enough to where I didn't want to stitch. Um, well, I always want to stitch, but I didn't have the energy or mindset to stitch because, um, you know, like when you're really tired, I ended up, I usually have to like frog everything I do. Um, so it's not wise to stitch when I'm sick. Um, so I did start a few things. And I've already lost my list. Gotta get a lecture. <laughs> Oops. Oh. Okay. So, um, I know I talked about some of the cells I was doing in the last video. I started the linens and thread mystery stitch along. And this thing is huge, by the way. I ended up doing it on 22 count because I, I didn't want to cut such a huge piece of anything else. But, um, so I picked 22 count. I really wanted to do it like on 32, but... I didn't have any more of this dyed, and I really wanted to use the January fabric of the month, so 22 is what I what I had left, so that would be big enough to make it work without having to dye another piece, which I totally would have done. Um, but I was waiting for more dye to come in, because I ran out. Um, so, I'm just using some purple variegated thread, DMC. And Needle Miner is mine. Oh, you can see where I... I worked yesterday. Um, it was just a How to Train Your Dragon pen I found on Etsy. Cut off the back and turned it into a needle minder. So I love this fabric. Absolutely love this fabric. Um, I know it is very bright and beautiful, but I think this, this stitch along will be perfect for it. So this is the linens and thread. It is a free a free pattern. I found it on a Facebook group just from I want to say Floss Tube's recommendation. So you can see how big it is. This is the area that's been released so far. This is everything else. So it's going to be big. Um, I'm going to finish this up pronto. Throw stuff over there. I got such a mess. I have like everything pulled out right here <laughs> um, in my tiny little workspace. Um, let's see next. I did not start the Grimm. Clouds Factory had the Grimm's Fairy Tale style that they're doing. It was released four days ago on the 10th. Um, the only thing I got done was I picked my fabric. That's a bonus, right? Um, so I'm going to start this this week. It is so cute what was released. 
Um, so this is a, a newer fabric, a new fabric that I have not shared. Um, it's Amazon. And it is a, a light green and brown. So this is what I'm going to stitch the, the Grim Fairy Tale on. My husband calls it mint chocolate chip, Andy's mints, I don't know. I told him, well, Andy's mints is probably copyrighted, so you can't call it that. He's like, well, mint chocolate chip. Makes me mad. Um, so Amazon. It's Amazon. It's very pretty. So this is what my grim is going on. I originally dyed this for my, um, I'm tired, I'm sorry. I'm always tired. I originally dyed it for her. The Cathedral Woods Goddess. But, um, I think I'm just going to put her on granite. I just don't want anything to take away from her. I want something very neutral in the background. She's so beautiful. So, I'll show you what I picked out for her. But if you follow me on Instagram, you can see the two choices I kind of been toying around with. And as much as I want to stitch something on the ice queen, it's so pretty. I just, I guess I have to find the pattern. What sucks for me is I always have the fabric. I just don't know what I want to stitch on it. I have to find the perfect thing. <laughs> so, that's grim. Um, the suffragette, I... Don't know if I have my favorite doing this time. I guess I should have rewatched my own dang video. But if not, whatever. Oh yeah, I came up with the idea of toast. <clears throat> I kind of did a modified toast. I wanted it to look a little dingier, so I just added some extra gray to mine. Um, and not so much brown. I still like it. So this is the piece I'm going to be stitching it up on. And I have it on my list to start, but I think I'm going to wait till March to start it. Um, so I can stay consistent with everything I got going on. And since I get to have a carpal tunnel surgery in January and February, um, I don't want to take on a hundred projects and feel like I can't get anything done because I won't be able to. Um, next on the list is, oh, the tiny monitors one. I did get the fabric dyed, but it doesn't start yet till February 1st. Um, so for that, it's the every seasons. It's a mystery stitch along too. So I'm going to do mine on Earth. Earth is a very light blue with a light brown and some of them have hints of green. Um, so that's, I think, perfect for it. And that's good light color so that whatever that mystery style has, it won't be, it'll, it'll work. Um, next I have the frosted pumpkin stitchery. I haven't started this yet, but I picked out my fabric, so I'm counting it as I'm in the right direction. Um, I'll show you what I'm working on in a minute, so just relax and stay tuned. I looked at my analytics today because I've heard some other people saying that they drop off, and yeah, it's true. The average person is about two minutes away from leaving me, so I'm trying to hurry and get through that stuff. Um, anyway, so this is tiramisu. This was... Not last week, but the week before, like January 3rd, Friday night, fight night. It's really pretty. I like it on the even week better because it's not as bright. If I make it in the future, I will tone it down a little bit because on the Ada, it was a little bit more yellower. Um, and I like this one. This one's beautiful. So I'm going to do the Animal on a Almanac on this. I mean, the positive note, I don't have much haul because I've been so busy with work and fabric that I haven't had a chance to buy stuff, which is really sad. Um, me and Sombre Stitches are doing the hands-on design year celebrations. I have not started, <laughs> um, but I do have my fabric. Fabric ready to go, and I will be starting this, and I will have it done by the 29th, so I think it'll be a quick stitch. They're small. I think they said each one's 50 by 50. So do the same week, uh, like one day or an evening. Um, I do not work in my shopping mall, but I decided not to frog the entire room that I messed up on by one stitch, even though I know deep down inside it'll drive me crazy, but, um, it's fine. I'm just going to move that pedestal over. It's fine. I can modify a stupid cross stitch pattern and not, and it's not the end of the world. Um. The next thing I did work on, or start I should say, is um, 
Moonshine Crafter is doing a Creepy New Year sale for her birthday month. And I am doing a Waxy Moon Design, which is Brew Pub. It says which is Brew Pub, pick your own poison. Or pick your poison. So I'm just doing it on this purple. I love purples. Ew, instead of just I'm using the black um, A12 thread too, so it's kind of sparkly, but I think the worst thing about this is that border, but hopefully I'll get through it. I was, um, it's been a slow stitch because we've been watching The Witcher, and I pay more attention to that than stitching, so. Um, I got that one started, and I got one, oh, I got a few more. I finally started this one I've been dying to stitch. So, first night I worked on it, it was fabulous. Um, I got about half this, half this done. Um, and I, I didn't use my fabric, I used what came in the kit because I do down on side, I struggled. <laughs> like I want to use, I wanted to really use my fabric and I don't think I'd ever use this again, but I struggled with the fact that I spent so much money on that stupid kit. Um, I should just use the fabric and suck it up, so I did. Second night I worked on it, I was, um, I was regretting not using my fabric, but that's okay. Anyway, this is a really long piece, so. I did already get this done. There is still um, some yellow in there. I gotta fill in and just like little, little bit around the edges. But I do like working on it. I do need to get some more key snaps. Those little hoops are hard for me to hold. So there was another one that um, Al Forest pattern that came out, or it's available again that I wanted. I don't remember what it was now. I put it in my shopping cart, but. They only do the kit. They just don't do the pattern, so I'm kind of struggling with, should I buy it, should I not? I also really want one of the long dog samplers, so I want the Death by Crossage and the, the Prophecy one. It's gone right now. I'll remember it right after this is done. I'm having a brain fart every time this camera turns on. Alright, so what other stitching did I do? Oh, I worked on my hands-on design hug in a mug. So, uh, last time I showed you guys, I think I had this part done. I think. Um, I started working on this, but ended up having to frog most of it because I miscounted while watching TV. So, and it's late at night. That's usually when I get my stitching in and I get really tired. Like, I'm doing this video now and not, oh, hi, I'm peppy and happy. I'm, like, <laughs> dragon. So, um, yeah, I miscounted and I haven't stitched on, so this is linen and I absolutely love it. Um, it's going to be hard to go back to, to Ada after stitching on even weave and linen. I really am loving it. So, um, I miscounted by one square and I had to take a ton of it out because I just went all the way across and I was like, <sighs> yeah, anyway, um, this is coming along. This is an easy stitch and I love it. So. <clears throat> I think that's all that I worked on. I feel like I... I should look at my list. Oh, there's more. I don't know where I set them. I worked on my Christmas mousse. So I started this at my mom's when we were there over Christmas. And I started it because it was a kit and I wouldn't have to bring all of my boxes with me or pick out floss, which I wish I would have. But So anyway, I started. Um, and when I was working on it when I was back home, I hate the floss. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Um, I feel like I'm doing something wrong. It's knotting up. I, I I don't know. I never get knots when I stitch, but I got two. And I'm like, oh, whatever. Um, so anyway, you can start to see some of his nostril. And all my needle minders, um, with the exception of a few, if I buy them, I try to tell you guys, but I'm, I make my own. This is Jaina <laughs> from World of Warcraft new patch release today um so yeah I'm not loving the thread I ended up buying stay at home stitches at some thread conditioner or th thread wax I got some of that to hopefully help um I haven't used it yet because it just came in but um I know better I knew better going into this not to use their thread that I, I don't know if I would have liked it I should have 
with my gut, but I will get through it and I'll stitch it. One other thing, I um, this is 14 count. Um, so the pattern recommends two, two threads and typically on 14 count I always use three. So I didn't know if I would have enough if I did three with a, with a kit thread. So I'm kind of, I'm not loving the coverage. I'm gonna love it in the end. I'm trying not to be so negative about this piece. I've wanted to do this one for years. Um, it's my beautiful coffee bag. So that's the other thing I worked on. So I worked on a little bit of everything here and there. Um, I did not work on my Heaven and Earth design once upon a fairy tale. Um, as much as I want to, I have to use hold a really tiny needle and I can't feel these fingers. Nope, oh, I can't feel them. Um, that's one reason I don't do bedside nursing. So, um, it's, it gets hard, but that'll soon be solved. And, um, I really want to go work on it. I've seen some progress in the Facebook group and it's amazing. I'm like, God, they have time or they're really fast. I'm, I must be super slow. Um, what else did I not work on? I think that's all I got really going on for stitching. Um, yeah, that's it. So, let's see what else I wrote down on my list. It's my sloppy list. I do, I know I printed off that um, 24 hours across stitch calendar or the, the planner for the year. I have yet to use it. Shame on me, it's the 14th. I'm gonna get organized tomorrow. Um, <laughs> I don't say that forever. I have an amazing planner that I use and I use my phone for whatever, but um, cross stitching has been busy. Um, Work is busy. So, I don't know. I thought leaving a director of nursing job to just go do something different nursing wise was going to give me better work life balance, and it doesn't. This week alone, I would have 46 hours. And it's salary, so it pisses me off. Um, made a poor decision. Anyway, <laughs> so I think that's all I'm going to start. But I did get a couple patterns, and I got two bags, which I kind of already threw across the screen, I need to stop buying project bags. Like, I don't know how, I'm still going to buy the ones from Anna at Stitch Toolbox, but um, I'm such a liar. <laughs> I will still be buying them. So this <coughs> is the, I, I think this was on Instagram. <laughs> you know what, wait, never mind. I seen Sombra, she, or Sombra Stitches Becca, she had one in her video too, so I don't know where, I think it was Instagram we got it. Um, Threads entwined, maybe? I'll have to double check. I don't remember. I just said yes, I want it. I didn't even care. I didn't even look at the price, but it's purple. I love it. It's mine. So. Oh, and I got another one, too, but I don't know where I stuck that bag. Just saying Instagram, I remembered. Oh, wait, I ordered another one. <laughs> this is. Oh, yeah, that's where I put all my needle minders. Okay, so this is. Um, I thought this was white and blue from the pictures, but that's okay. It's still really pretty. And, um, Kindred Stitcher on Instagram, her bags are thick and they are nice and they are big. So, um, I loved it. It's very pretty. And so this is, this is the true color. And then of course, my monthly surprise bag from Anna at Stitch Toolbox. This is pretty. I was kind of nervous doing like a January one, thinking I was going to get like a seasonal bag because I'm not big on um, um, like holidays. But this still could be considered Christmassy, but I don't. It's it's beautiful. It's like winter, so this is fabulous. Um, and I love that it comes with a pattern. And it can kit it up with a thread too, so I don't know. I cannot go wrong. And I've already um, got my mystery bag ordered for next month, so... I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, at some point, I'm going to have to stop. Am I going to have 90 whips? Oh, that'd be a good goal. I am. <laughs> so, my goal this year, like, everyone's stitching from stash. Mine is going to be to get as many whips as I can going. So, that means, like, two week. There's going to be a time this year I'm going to do it. Um, March is going to be my month that um, I'm going to start kicking ass. Right after my surgery. <laughs> oh, I probably can't go <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh. Uh, my daughter was supposed to edit my video, but she already went to bed, so she's not going to be editing it, editing it, even though I got the lecture that my floss tube was not good last last time around, and um, I'm not organized. 
I don't know, whatever. So I got some needle minders from, I swear I have a brain fart. I know this stuff. I'm just tired. Stay at home stitches. It's right on the damn card. Um, <laughs> these are cute introvert. So if you ever met me in real life, like you can think I'm talkative right now and can carry on kind of conversation. I'm not. I'm a complete introvert. And that cat butt is hilarious. Oh, focus. Oh, there we go. Slowly me. Um, I got one that says it's not, it's okay not to be okay, which is totally true. And it's another cute one. Um, I got those because I needed some that thread conditioner and it's really hard why would I just order that one item in paper shipping so I had to get something else that's my logic um you know I've had to do a couple takes of this so now I'm off foggy I think that's why I'm having brain farts <laughs> like I don't know what I've already talked about um first go around uh, my kids interrupted okay so it's like I wasn't that far into it I'll redo it um next go around Octavia decides that she needs a drink. She needs to blow her nose. She needs to go potty. She needs to uh, give another hug. She needs to say goodnight again. But she finally fell asleep. So and it's almost midnight and I have to be at work. So my husband got me these. My hero pins for Christmas. And I had my father-in-law cut off the back. So I'm going to turn them into needle minders. There's one more. Chocolate's running around here somewhere. But I'm going to turn those. That's what I do. So I find cool pins. And I just cut off the backs. I usually get them on Etsy. Uh, sometimes the stash, stash sites. I bought like over 50 of them one time. Because um, they have some pretty cool ones. It was like this one. But then I've seen them already turned into needle minders. Oh, there they go. <laughs> on, um, um, hell. On Etsy. This was like discounted at GameStop. I was like, heck yeah. My, if my daughter would ever cross it, she's a huge Pokemon person. No more dragon. I love dragons. Anyway, so yeah, I'm at my goal. Like for the last four weeks, I'm like, I'm gonna get those done. I'm going to. Alright, so what else did I buy? I do get a couple patterns. I'll show you those. Other than that, I'll just show you my fabrics and we're done. We're done though. Um, I just don't want to forget anything. Oh, I'm gonna so this is going to be a giveaway. This is from Aaron the Blind Stitcher. Um, he was so kind. He, I guess, he's awesome. If you guys haven't checked out his floss tube, you need to. So, he sent me three of these so that I can keep one. Because I love Wonder Woman. And um, give two away. So, this is from Aaron the Blind Stitcher um, for a giveaway. So, what we'll do is, I don't know. Use the word wonder. Or... Your favorite, no, we'll have to use Wonder. I'm going to say, or you can just use Superhero and tell me your favorite. Let's do that. Um, use the keyword Superhero and tell me your favorite Superhero. It doesn't have to be Wonder Woman, but if you want the Wonder Woman one, um, that's what you're going to have to do. Superhero is the keyword. Um, and you have to be a subscriber and over 18. Um, I'll figure out how to check that crap. Especially if you're a subscriber. Don't just come get free stuff. And don't say giveaway, please. Um, I think everyone's been really good at not doing that. And I didn't ask this person, but I did get another piece of Stitchy Kindness over the Christmas holiday. Um, and this was super cool. I, I don't know exactly what this is called. I'll have to go read the card again. And I would love to thank you, but I didn't ask your permission, so I'm not going to say it. But but you know who you are. Thank you so much. Um, is it like a snip, snippet thing? I don't know. Anyway, it's super cool. Um, I don't usually get these awesome little things. And... This is awesome. This is going to help me. My chair is like my pin cushion sometimes when I already have sometimes two needle miner stuck to projects because I get so much going. But I love this little thing. And I've seen the big ones on Instagram now too. I'm like, oh, do I really need to get into something else? <laughs> I already got project bags everywhere. Um, because that's, I'm going to start a million projects this year. That's my goal. Oh, who I was, who I was watching this morning. Um, I don't remember her name, but... Um, she's wonderful. I'm going to go check her out. I'll link her below. She, like her thing this year, or I don't know if she's doing it this year, but she just brought up, there's so many free patterns out there and you don't have to spend a lot to get 
some awesome designs, which is so true after I just bought a ton more Heaven and Earth designs today. I'm like, why do you stop? Um, but it was a sell and I had to. So um, I'm going to go check back out. I'll link her video because she also said put in the comments if you know other free patterns. So that's pretty awesome. And I think that would just benefit everybody. Um, okay, quickly, just a few patterns I picked up. So I grabbed a few things, I'm not going to go through them all, from Pickle Barrel Designs. I see her post all the time on Instagram, um, some that's super cute, I mean all of it's super cute, everyone has different taste. I grabbed the things that I liked and that would apply that something I could put in my house, a little bit, a little bit snarky, that's okay for still the kids to read. Um, this one's Fantasyland, it says when someone told me I live in Fantasyland, I nearly fell off my unicorn. That's freaking awesome. So I snagged that one. Um, and two Halloween ones. I feel like my house will be Halloween. 365 days a year. And I think I'm okay with that. So this one's Creep It Real. And this is just 666 Spooky. Just, they're just cute little easy things that I figured these would be great if I need to break from like a bigger project. And this one applies to our house. So this is going to go by my front door area. It says silence is golden unless you have children. And then silence is suspicious, which is so true. Um, and I grabbed a couple other ones, fall and winter. Um, this one's super cute. It's the winter weekend. I mean, I grew, grew up in Utah, so I shouldn't give my life stories on here, but <laughs> I grew up in Utah, so skiing is something we did. And I just thought this was awesome. This was cute. It gave me warm feelings. Alright, so I did I did two purchases for to benefit for um, the Australian bushfire charities. Um, Tiny Modernist. They have this pattern out, Aussie Buddies. Um, what you so you purchase the pattern, I think it was five dollars, six dollars, somewhere around there, and they'll match it. So if I paid the five, they pay the five. Um, so they'll donate 10, which is, which is awesome. So I got this one. It's super cute. Something I would totally stitch up. So I grabbed that. Um, I grabbed, so then I went, this is what kind of drug me to heaven and earth today. Um, they had the sad, it's so sad. I can't talk about animals. Um, the sad quality he's so sad. Anyway, so I grabbed this. This pattern's this pattern's awesome. So I'm sorry it's in black and white. I ran out of ink, but it's it's so cute. Um, but then I got dragon to buy more. So um, I got the dragons. I'm gonna do this on Galaxy too. Or I might kind of pick something similar in that background. But it's pretty neat. Like all um, they have all the planets, and then there's like a dragon. Like if that's your thing, but um, totally my thing. So I'm gonna do that. I've been looking at they um so that artworks by Rob Carlos. He has a whole bunch of others that I've been wanting for a while, but some of them are really expensive. And it's very similar to this. So when I seen this one, I was like, that's close enough to what I've been wanting. So I shouldn't go through all of these, but um you can kind of skip to the end if you just want to get to the giveaway crap and the fabrics. <laughs> um this one is by Alexander I can't Alexandra whatever. So this one I seen posted on, I don't know, I think it was released like two weeks ago. And it's farewell to Lothian, something like that. Um, it's so pretty. But then after I printed it off and bought it today, I was staring at it thinking, oh my god, that is so dark. <laughs> I'm going to go blind staring at that. So we'll see how it stitch up. I don't know how many, 90 colors, so that's not bad. Oh, well. I'm so happy I got it. It's pretty. Um, I got two unicorn ones, too. I ran out of ink, so I'm barely going to show these. But they're, um, one's Pure Magic by Ann Stokes, and the other is the Unicorns by Lisa Parker. You know, I'd, I'd be really grateful if one of, somebody would take these awesome unicorns and turn into a damn Pegasus. And I would be happy. Because that's what I've been looking for for years, and I have yet to find one. Um... So that was all the heaven and earth. That sad koala, um, the entire $19 goes straight to the bushfire, bushfire project. Um, and then the other patterns I got were half off. Um, yeah, so the koala was full price. Um, 
but all the proceeds went to the Australian Bushfire Project, so super awesome. And then I also, I've been meaning to purchase this since I've seen it, but um, I've just been so busy. Too busy to buy stuff, the sad thing. <laughs> um, Bindi Stitchy um, for the Parkinson's benefit chart, um, I guess in honor of her papa. So this is a beautiful scene. Um, I've worked with many people with Parkinson's and diseases um, working as a nurse, so and this holds true, and this is this is a very wonderful thing. So I can't wait to switch this up because I was meeting, took a lot of meetings. So good things, good things. So here's my fun things I got. Um, did I buy this? I wonder if I showed you guys this. I don't know when I did my video last. I think I got this right at the new year. I don't know if I showed you. I'm sorry, but it's really awesome, and I can't wait to switch it up. But this kitty is so cute. He reminds me of my jacket. <coughs> Anyway, okay. Um, Tilt and Crafts, Black Mage, and then I also got Halloween Night. I know these are some, I know this one's older because I've seen it around for a couple of years, I want to say. But I decided, what the heck, I'm diving down this big chart thing, and it's acceptable. So, always just stitching one pattern at a time is not okay. Well, in my book, but that's the way I've always done it. Like that stupid, not stupid, um... That northern lights or that moose i've only ever just it's all i'm doing it's all i'm doing and i get burnt out and then I go in timeout and oh hold on okay these are cute whatever um i was on clouds factory and i got a whole bunch of patterns i want to say like right after the new year this is amazing because when i was like 11 or 12 i remember this game came out um day of the tentacle it was by lucas arts i remember the opening i never beat the game but i googled it today to see oh can I, I don't even think I could put it in a computer that would play because we had such a like the first thing <laughs> that I don't know but this is awesome so um gaming I've been a gamer all my life and my kids are gamers my family's gamers this is this is awesome so this is just I'm I know my family doesn't watch this but I'm gonna stitch one of these up for my brother and myself um my one of my brothers is just a little bit younger than me and we both played this and I think this would be awesome I don't know if he'd appreciate it but I don't care that was the awesome, that was the awesome game. So, um, that's really all I got. That's, that'd be my haul. It's just patterns. I don't think I got any good stuff. Maybe next time. I'm kind of on a, a no buying budget. Well, as best as I can be because Christmas just got over and six kids and we're broke. So, um, I think I went through everything. Let's see fabrics. I already showed you the fabric of the month. That was the strawberry shortcake. Um, let me grab another one. I do have extras. Um, I miscount, so I've been sick. Um, the week we did these, I miscounted, and um, when we were hanging them up, my husband was like, you have like 50 fabrics. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I had way too many fabrics, so. Um, I do have a few extra, um, but once for the giveaway, I'll post the the winners for the giveaway at the end of the video. There was a neutral and a colorful drawing, and uh, this hands-on design is 7 a.m. somewhere. So, this is the strawberry shortcake. Um, I am going to make this a permanent into the collection. I've been really good at writing down my recipes on, like, when I started a while ago, just... <laughs> never write anything down so I keep track of my recipes now for dying so I know what I'm making oh. um let's see what else toast I did make a whole bunch of toast I know people have asked me for some toast um I did make a big batch it will be in Friday night fight night this week along with granite so those are gonna be the two contenders um they are drying right now and ready to go tomorrow night I will make all the extra colorful fun things well I don't know I got some things in mind. Um, so granite. I don't know why I went neutral this week. I was just in a neutral mood. Probably because I needed it. <laughs> um, last week was Ice Queen. This is beautiful. It does show up more blue on the Lagana fabric. Um, I think even on the linen. But on the Ada, it seems to have a, a grayer tone. So if you are thinking you're going to get the Ada that is a beautiful and blue like this um, let me know and I'll throw in a little bit more blue 
um, cause it does more have like a, a, a grayish, the, a grayish blue tone, but on this, it doesn't show up like that, but I like this one way better. Um, they just, the fabrics all buy differently. So this is latte. Oh, I should dye some of these up too. This is just one beautiful color. Um, and you know, I do do, I do do, <laughs> I do do custom orders, but um, if you just want solid pieces, just ask. I don't normally keep those in stock. I was thinking about doing a few. You don't have to have variegated. Um, I could do colors, so just put that out there. And then last week in Friday by night, I'm getting so tired. Oh, it's midnight. Um, Galaxy. I don't like making these. I do love making these. Let me, let me take that back. I don't like making these very often because they're very time consuming for me. And I each piece has between 8 and 10 dies, depending on my mood. <laughs> so, um, it's beautiful. Um, but they're very time consuming. So, I think I'm just going to stick with maybe making them once a month. So, if you want one and I don't have one, please let me know. And I can just add extra to the list. Um, because I don't make it a ton of them because it does take for what I made for Friday Fight Night I was probably dying for six seven hours just for these guys so I'll show you another one I mean it's very each one is hand um like hand painted pretty much like the the dye it's not just splatter and let me go I kind of decide like how do I want my galaxy to look in this piece so And I didn't get a chance, I've been wanting to do also kind of some, I've done in the past like a green one, <coughs> but I really like these ones. I have some other surprises coming out soon, so just gonna leave that out there. Um, I'm pretty sure. Toast, it's a favorite. This is on Opal. You can't see the sparkles. Nope. Oh, and I already put a big crease in it. Um, guacamole. And then I know these pieces will be in Friday Fight Night this week. So um, I have a Facebook group and um, fabrics go to Friday Fight Night first, which is fun. And then after Friday Fight Night, um, when I get around to it, I'll put it up in the shop if no one claimed them. So you kind of get like first dibs on some stuff. I'm just looking for a stack of fabric. I know I brought more with me. I bet I put it away already. No, I just already went through it all. I don't know if I showed these ones, but these are ones that are going to go into the store this weekend. So, there's a lot of op opalescent fabric this time around. It's just a gray, storm gray. Storm gray is really dark gray. Then I just have a regular gray and then a pretty silver. I'll be making more of that stardust too. I think I had someone ask me that. Stardust was amazing. I regret not keeping that. Um, I feel like I showed these last video. Well, I kind of have. Some of these the fabrics, I'm like, oh, what would anyone stitch on them? I'm always so curious. I love seeing, I love when you guys tag me on Instagram on some of them because I'm like, oh, that's what they would stitch on them. <laughs> Those are just more tiramisu. They're really pretty on the even weave. I right, let me grab some of the Ada. I mean, it's so pretty. I just can't think what I'd stitch on it. I was golding, going for moldy cheese when I made these, and it did not turn green, so then I had to moldy cheeses just like this, a tad bit lighter, um, and it has brown and green, like mold. <laughs> like a touch of sliver of green. It's kind of like how this goes right there. So I think that's it. Um, I'll post the, the winners of the giveaway at the end. But so for this week, keyword superhero if you want the Wonder Woman pen. And I want to give away a galaxy fabric. Why not, right? So these are not on linen because I don't have any opal linen right now. Um, I won't have any until the end of the week. But um, I can do this on 14, 16, or 18 Ada. And what do I got for Magana? I got 25, 28, 32. I can do it on those as well. 
I will say that it's prettier on opal fabric. Um, it gives it it gives it a different effect, but I could do it on any fabric. Um, I just don't think it's as pretty, but that's my own preference. <laughs> um, so that keyword will be galaxy. Um, I'll put the the end of it here and. I appreciate you guys watching. I'm very excited. I was like at 180 subscribers and I was completely shocked. Like only four, three videos into it I have that many. So I'm excited. I should have a big giveaway if I ever hit 500. Which um, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Maybe, I don't know. I got a good idea. I'll wait. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> well, anyway, happy stitching and have a great week. Hopefully I'll do a video next week. Um, I'm sure I'll get more stitching time in. All right, bye. All right, here's for the first giveaway. Kelly Hale. All right, I will comment on your comment and just send me your information. So next is neutral. We have six commenters. Janet Jabber. Well, you have a another fabric that is neutral heading your way. <laughs> Last but not least is colorful. Four people commented. You get some good odds of these. All right, Renee Crump. I will comment on everyone's um, comment that you're the winner just send me your information um, I already have yours Janet but I will leave you a message and thank you everybody